Listen very carefully and follow my instructions. Prepare your brain for the Cortex Labs Nootropics Podcast. I gotta tell you, being an entrepreneur, I will not go through the rest of my career without taking nootropics. Aniracetam, paracetam, modafinil, nupet, uridine monophosphate. I mean, phenylparacetam, forget it. You could always have a better brain. The Cortex Labs Nootropics Podcast is about to begin. Episode number 57 of the Cortex Labs Nootropics Podcast. I am your Nootropics Information Wizard, Ryan Michael Bell. Thanks so much for being with me. Thanks so much for listening, man. Check us out on the web at livecortex.com and livecortex.com slash blog. We've got six powerful products. we got the Cortex stack, powerful pre-made stack. Right now, 27 bucks for Cortex, guys. Get it at livecortex.com. That is a turn your brain on, turn your mental energy on, turn your verbal fluency and speed of processing on stack. It's called Cortex it is mighty. 27 bucks right now on the, I think it's the 13th of January, 2018. Yep, 13th. Uh, we got uh, five digital guides, the beginner's guide to aniracetam. If you want to learn about aniracetam, just get that digital guide, teach you everything. Plus has 25 powerful stacks you'll never find anywhere on the internet. If you're advanced five years in, you're still going to get stacked from that guide. Then we got Smarter, Better, Faster, which is a digital guide teaches you everything about nootropics, gives you many stacks. Then there's uh, the nootropic stacks for the business professional. It's 100 stacks and a digital guide for business people. Uh, for business productivity. And then there's the Racetam God Guide. That is uh, all the eight eight major Racetams broken down uh, with accompanying sublingual and oral stacks. Then there's the NuPept Pro Stack List. That's a giant uh, digital guide on NuPept. It's fully downloadable. It teaches you everything about NuPep plus gives you very many uh, NuPep stacks. Get all that stuff at livecortex.com as well as our consulting services. We got a Nootropics consult. It's a 40-minute call with me, 15 additional email correspondences. We can help you learn Nootropics, bring, figure out a stack for you, shave some stuff off your stack, whatever you need. And then we just started a chronic fatigue syndrome consulting service. CFS is a real serious thing. It has a lot to do with gut bacteria, gut motility, uh, and detoxification. It's something I learned about after having it years ago. I fixed it, and it's something that we're doing consulting on. Get all this stuff at livecortex.com. Okay, uh, so, oh, by the way, facebook.com slash cortex stacks. That's our Facebook page. We're really trying to get folks there. Facebook.com slash cortex stacks. Just remember it. If you're on the road, just come check us out. Like us. We need the support. Uh, okay, five things that aniracetam stacks well with. I love this podcast because I love aniracetam, man. It's one of my favorite racetams, one of my favorite nootropic compounds ever. I used to do a lot with aniracetam. When I first got into racetams, I was in a frenzy of taking aniracetam. I've obviously since like learned like I need to cycle like everything and I just cycle between a bunch of different stacks. Most of them are in our digital guides. But aniracetam like caught my attention early on. It turned my brain on in a way that was different than anything else. It was very stimulatory. Uh, I was my I, I always, my working memory was always profoundly better when taking aniracetam. Uh, I always felt s- smarter. Excuse me. I always felt like I was smarter. The actual you know it was like an actual smart drug. Taking aniracetam, I remember being like in it, large crowds or at the coffee place or at the store, and I just I just might notice my brain was picking things up way better than everyone else's. It was moving a lot quicker. Uh, my memory just works so good with aniracetam. It's a very powerful compound, right? It's stimulatory. What a name. What a cool name too, aniracetam. You know, it sounds like a, it just sounds like a, 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 a shredded, just like a shredded knight with a, with an ax pick and a ball and chain. Just like aniracetam. Very cool smart drug. <laughs> That's the intro. Dose range is uh, really 200 because some people can microdose it to 1,500 milligrams. Some folks are require a little more, uh, which would be an attack dose, two to three grams. Most folks find a sweet spot between five and 700 milligrams of aniracetam. It's best taken with a choline source, but just at low doses because it does force the brand to use extra choline, extra acetylcholine. It might not be the case for everybody. That's something if you truly want to know choline sources and racetams, Read smarter, better, faster. That's our digital guide. Teaches you all about it. Uh, but uh, but look, I mean, it does stack well. It stacks well with many many other things. I mean, there's there's in fact there's 27 major nootropic compounds that aniracetam stacks well with. Uh, we break down all 27 in the digital guide, uh, the beginner's guide to aniracetam. But in this podcast, I want to break down five of the best. Uh, nootropic compounds that aniracetam stacks well with that if if you were to remove like i got this big bin of nootropics it's got powders and capsules and everything and it's just a bin and in if you were to re- you know remove everything from that bin and just say okay you got aniracetam okay and then you can pick five more compounds 
And then I, I just had to choose from those five nootropics to take for the rest of my days, you know, until I'm 100. And I'm going I'm to be taking plenty more nootropics like in my day, like because I'm an entrepreneur and I need productivity and I always focus. And, you know, I, I always require focus and mental energy and speed of processing. So, uh, look, I would choose these five. Here they are. Top five nootropic compounds that aracetam stacks well with. Number one, as you might imagine, the elephant in the room, choline sources, choline sources, right? You know, the, 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 basically the basic breakdown for those of you that are new to nootropics, listen to this podcast or, or maybe want to hear it again or want to hear my version of it is the, the, the brain gets forced to release a neurotransmitter in particular regions, uh, from the use of anorastam. Basically, anorastam uh, invokes that usage. Typically, it's in the hippocampus, which is a memory-centric region of the brain. And so uh, uh, that typically requires that you st- that you commensurately give the brain enough choline, which is a B vitamin, it's, a com- it's like essentially in the complex B vitamin family, uh, which is a precursor to acetylcholine, the neurotransmitter that these racetams put into use when you're taking racetams, right? You know, the famous racetam headache, if you Google it, uh, you know, in a lot of cases, is a case in which the brain is just burning up a bunch of acetylcholine, and you know, you're, you're because the racetam is forcing it to, because that's part of its mechanism of action. That's how it works on your memory, at least partially. But you just don't have enough of it uh, in the brain or being made um, in the brain for to put up with that usage. So people just take choline sources with racetams. Uh, the 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 choline sources that stack well with racetams are really the, the top three. That's choline by tartrate, alpha GPC. And CDP choline. A good dose for just a regular sort of random stack uh, would be 700 milligrams anorastam, 100 milligrams alpha GPC. Or alternatively, you could do 700 milligrams anorastam, 100 milligrams CDP choline. Right? Alternatively, you could, you could do 700 milligrams anorastam, 300 milligrams choline by tartrate. Okay, so choline sources is number one. That's an easy one, but now we're getting into the good ones. Number two of the top five nootropic compounds that stack well with anorastam is. The mighty Nupept. Nupept is a Russian pharmaceutical compound, optimizes the acetylcholine and the cholinergic system in the brain, increases brain-derived neurotrophic factor and nerve growth factor in other regions of the brain, the hippocampus and the cerebral cortex particularly. Uh, It's stimulatory, mostly working memory-inducing. A lot of folks say that they can see better for brief periods of time, and it's probably because it changes the choline quantity or content in your retina cells and your eyes, because that's... A critically important part of vision is, is good choline. In fact, it's been demonstrated that mothers that have a choline deficiency or don't intake enough, their kids' eyesight suffers because of it. Uh, and it is, uh, it's powerful. The dose range is on the very low end, 3 to on the high end, 30 milligrams. Most folks find a sweet spot in the center at 10 to 15 milligrams. New Pep's incredible. Stacks with many cholinergic compounds, all the racetams, etc., uh, but stacks particularly well with anoracetam, right? There's a, there's a synergistic combination there, probably through the cholinergic optimization, that seems to work really, really well. So a good anoracetam new pep stack would be uh, bringing in kind of our applied nootropics methodology, which tends to medium dose additional synergizing components to a base of a stack that's cholinergic, as an example, uh, would be, let's just regular dose the anoracetam, 700 milligrams anoracetam. But then the new pep, in this case, I'd dose it seven to eight milligrams, seven to eight milligrams of new pep. You don't want to go over, you don't want to tax it, you know, more is not more with nootropics. Anybody that's been in the game long enough understands more is definitely not more when it comes to nootropics. So seven, you know, let's just stick with that. 700 milligrams anorastam, seven milligrams nupept. In this case, you know, just for the sake of finishing the stack, you probably want to bring a choline source in there because you're going to be extra burning uh, acetylcholine in the system. Uh, so again, I mean, really 300 to 500 milligrams choline by tartrate uh, and or 50 to 150 milligrams of either alpha GPC or CDP choline. But new pep stacks so well with anoracetam. We've got it loaded in some of the stacks on the business, the nootropic stacks for the business professional. That's our one of our digital downloadable guides. That thing has 100 powerful stacks. Some of them are new pep anoracetam stacks. The synergy of the two is powerful. Working memory, speed of processing, processing capacity, and verbal fluency. Okay, that's number two. Number three of the top five of what anorastam stacks well with. I mean, I've come to learn over the years, these just stack the best. Many things stack with anorastam, these stack the best. Number three is oxiracetam, you know, oxiracetam. And this makes perfect sense. It's another AMPA receptor modulator. Uh, that's just sort of the underlying neurotransmitter receptor modifications that, that uh, oxiracetam does, which causes a very stimulatory response of the brain via uh, glutamate, via extra glutamate. 
Uh, but it also optimizes the cholinergic system too, just like anorastam does. Uh, same deal, increases the release of acetylcholine in the hippocampus. So you'll, you'll, you'll need choline sources with it. But man, anorastam and oxiracetam, these are two different compounds though in their effect. Anorastam is stimulatory speed of processing working memory. Oxiracetam, stimulatory speed of processing working memory, but focus and a lot of it. Right, it just kind of weans out all the uh, other crap that might be going on in your head and life and brain, and and it just brings you in, it hones you in. Folks that have a hard time focusing on a regular basis without nootropics or just sort of a, at their baseline do pretty good with oxiracetam. Uh, in fact, it becomes you know for a lot of folks like one of their favorite smart drugs because it just works so well for focus. Uh, but with aniracetam, you've got this combination of that wildly stimulatory speed of processing and memory power of aniracetam, and then you got the focus ab- ability with oxiracetam. Add a little bit of choline source in there. Again, our normal dose is 3 to 500 milligrams choline by tartrate, 50 to 150 milligrams CDP or alpha-GPC. And you've really got a synergistic motivation, speed of processing, verbal fluency, uh, memory and focus stack that that that's really unmatchable if you get the doses right. Okay, oxiracetam and anorastam is a powerful combination. That is number three. Number four, number four of what anorastam stacks the best with is a compound called vinpositine. I think vinpositine is from the periwinkle plant, if my memory serves me correctly. Uh, and uh, vinpositine essentially just has been demonstrated to improve blood flow and oxygen to the brain. Now, here's where I think this synergizes extremely well with aniracetam. Uh, racetams particularly tend to increase blood flow in the brain. They just change the way the brain uses blood or, or the quantity of blood in certain areas. I'm referring particularly to a study on paracetam uh, titled something to the effect of, I'm going to kind of mildly paraphrase here, uh, you know, paracetam increases or improves activated blood flow in certain regions of the brain in which they demonstrate that, that, that where the paracetam was actually working on neurons and, and regions of the brain, uh, the brain sent more blood. And so <clears throat> that's one of the things that seems to be consistent with other racetams uh, based on how it's working, whether it induces that effect by itself or it's just the fact that you've got activated regions of the brain from more acetylcholine and therefore the brain just as a byproduct sends more blood there. Uh, Vinpositine optimizes that process. So you get a process about the optimizing blood flow uh, and oxygen via uh, the racetams and particularly paracetam, but I, I would wager anoracetam, oxiracetam does the same thing. But then you have, and then you bring in a compound that further optimizes the way your brain uses blood uh, and the way that the, you know blood is sort of distributed through the brain called vinpositine. It also does the same with oxygen. Very powerful compound, five to 40 milligrams is the dose range on vinpositine. A great stack with anoracetam and vinpositine would be 700 milligrams anoracetam. 120 milligrams CDP choline, just to kind of switch it up, uh, and 5 to 15 milligrams of vinpositine. I think what folks notice a lot is just a clearer, a clearer brain. Not that racetams don't make your brain clear, but they make you want to work. But vinpositine comes in and kind of just clears gunk out. Very, very powerful. That is number four of what anorastam stacks well with the best. Number five, here's the last one, guys, and what anorastam stacks well with, stacks the best with, stacks awesome with. The mighty theocrine. Theocrine is a cousin of caffeine, comes from this plant, comes from a, a similar plant, and then the camellius uh, genus of plants. And basically, it just sits there and accumulates on this plant. It goes through a bunch of chemical modifications as the plant develops, and then uh, theocrine just just accumulates on the plant and then it gets you know turned into a pharmaceutical preparation and you can take it it's like caffeine because it's you know it's basically working on the same stuff adenosine receptors keeping you awake so it's very wakefulness promoting uh seems to induce less anxiety compared to caffeine in similar doses all right to get similar effects and the interesting thing is it has a little bit of a longer half-life and it seems to be more potent than caffeine it's a very very interesting compound it's very stimulatory turns on the brain it'll get you in a mood where you want to work it's basically amazing. Uh, one of those compounds that, I, that I'm sure is underrated, and I'm curious as to why people are not raving about it out there on the web. But it's one of the most powerful compounds to stack aniracetam with. Aniracetam is stimulatory in its own right, right? It turns on the brain, makes you want to work, get you pumped up. But the interesting thing about it is that stacking it with theocrine totally changes the game, turns up the amperage on the stimulation to something noticeably amazing. I mean, we've got many racetam theocrine stacks in the digital guides that we wrote and sell. They're amazing. They turn on every facet of brain function. And it is because early on in my experimentation, particularly with theocrine, I realized 
how well it's stacked with racetams and particularly aniracetam. It's stimulatory. It's speed of processing. It's mental energy. It's motivation. It just gets you to want to work. It is a powerful combination. And if you're just looking to take to, to be simple with it all, which is, is something I think a lot of folks want to do. They just kind of want simple stacks. And in some cases, they don't want to take eight, nine compound stacks. Sometimes, sometimes just for the sake of convenience, man, five, 600, 700 milligrams aniracetam, 100 to 150 milligrams theocrine. And then your choline source, you know, bring your choline source, use the same strategy we have you. So a good stack might look like 600 milligrams aniracetam, 100 milligrams theocrine, 120 milligrams alpha GPC. You will thank me. Very, very powerful combination, aniracetam and theocrine, super underrated. And those five are the most powerful compounds, the best that I found. And by the way, as a bonus, the, the, the most uh, open to be able to bring in a whole bunch of other compounds in there. So they, they, those are the compounds that truly stack with all manner of cholinergics and dopaminergics. I mean, choline sources, new pep, oxiracetam, vimpocetine, theocrine with aniracetam, right, just sort of separately, then you can bring in a bunch of different great stuff. You can bring in tyrosine to a new pep aniracetam stack. You can bring triacetyluridine and a B complex into an oxiracetam aniracetam stem stack. Uh, you could bring something like Alcar in with an Anarastam Vinpositine stack. It's just it's just so much variety and so much uh, uh, possibility to stack great things with these five compounds. But that is the top five compounds that Anarastam stacks well with in my experience. I think you're going to get a lot of utility out of this podcast. Go stack Anarastam with those things. Find the right doses. And hey, if you truly want access to some of the best well put together stacks with all this great stuff in it, uh, on Anarastam, get the beginner's guide to Anarastam. It says beginners and that's for new folks, but it's like if you're five years in, I guarantee there are going to be stacks in that you never heard of. You're going to be surprised and they're powerful. Get that at livecortex.com. All of our other digital guides right now on the 13th of January and leading until, you know, we're going to do this for quite some time uh, moving forward. Not a whole lot, but I mean, maybe the end of the month we'll, 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 we'll end it. We've got 20% off everything. All of our digital guides that includes the Cortex Nootropic stack. That's our powerful pre-made stack. Get it at livecortex.com. It's 27 bucks right now considering that deal. And last thing I wanted to mention to you guys, uh, for those of you pretty new, haven't tried the Cortex stack yet, uh, we have a product called the Nootropic Starter Pack. Okay, nootropic starter pack. That brings in the Cortex stack. That's our powerful pre made stack. And the downloadable digital guide, Smarter, Better, Faster. Smarter, Better, Faster is a digital guide that teaches you everything about nootropics, has very many powerful stacks inside of it. This is the perfect, it's the only product really to start when you're starting with nootropics or if you're new, you get a bottle of Cortex, the most powerful pre made stack there is, and then the digital guide that's downloadable. You can open it on any mobile device you have that teaches you how to use nootropics. You know all that stuff at livecortex.com. Right now, 20% off everything. I don't know when that special's ending, but you got to get on it quick. Thanks so much for listening. Check us on the web at livecortex.com slash blog or livecortex.com. The Cortex Nootropics podcast, which is this, is on that blog. Uh, if you're not listening to this on YouTube, check us out on YouTube at uh, the Cortex Lab Nootropics channel on YouTube. And then on Facebook at facebook.com slash Cortex Stacks. Thanks for listening.